Hey there, Jackie B from Math Hot by Jackie B, and this is a video preview for my Calculus AB Semester 2 review. Actually, it's just a semester review if you teach calculus in one semester like I do. So it is set up very similarly to my other escape rooms. It is housed on a Google site, so you do not need to worry about a bunch of Google Forms or Google Slides. Kids will find a scenario that explains how and why they're locked in their room. Their mom has hidden 20 clues around their room intended to help them study for their calculus final. So they'll do just that. They'll click around the room. Each clue will bring up a problem they will need to solve. They'll need to pay attention to how to enter it into the lock. This just says evaluate the limit. If, however, there is no limit, they would just type in D and E into the lock. So they'll keep clicking on items, finding clues. Some will be multiple choice. They will have to write the multiple choice answer as the capital letter corresponding to the answer. Some will be decoys. This one so it says right here, when you're going to solve this improper integral, if you happen to get, if you happen to find that the value does not exist, you will type no value. So they need to be very particular, pay attention to how it asks them to fill those in. Now remember, not everything is going to be a clue. There are decoys hidden around the room. When they come to a decoy, all they'll do is click return to your room. It doesn't do anything for them. It just delays them finishing. Then they'll click on this little keypad, this lock, when they're done, when they have all 20 clues, they have all the answers. They will go ahead and answer the first question, very easy, their name. Have them do their first and last name because it's going to be really tedious for you to find them when they submit them. Okay, they'll go through clue one. Each clue will remind them about how to input it. Remember, I'm not going to put any of the answers here because I know the kids look here for answers. However, each time they get one right or they input one correctly, they'll know they're correct because before they see the next clue, before they see clue two, It'll say, yeah, you've opened a lock, open all 20, and you escape. When they do submit that final clue correctly, they will get congratulations, you've escaped. So they'll get a little picture that looks like this. Then they can go ahead and submit it. They could take a screenshot of this and submit that to you instead. Because when they do submit this, you can request access to the lock to see the submissions, but you will see all the submissions. You'll see my students. You'll see my other teammates' students. You'll see anyone who's purchased this. You'll see all of their responses. So sometimes I just have them take a screenshot of this, and I also include a digital worksheet for them to complete the answers on. Sometimes that's easier. So I hope you love this. I know my kids really do love this. Anytime I give them something fun to review this semester, since I give them so much review, they really appreciate it. Check out my store, Teachers Pay Teachers, Math Hop by Jackie B. Thanks for watching.